Well, that should be, that's, if you're losing to that, that's reflective of you missing your own timings, because the timings that are, quote, standard in, in Zerg versus everything, if you hit those, you will handle all the non-standard stupid shit that the newbies do. So yeah, I suppose, yeah. Like, any time something becomes standard, I'm making the little bunny ear quotations with my fingers right now, any time something becomes standard, it becomes standard for a reason. That reason is because it is safe against the most stuff. The reason that yeah. we get Roachboro and ZVP is because when Roachboro finishes, we are safe against everything until he has yes. observers. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's just that's why it works that way. This is 14 full voting gas of him, I think. Okay. I think that's a pretty good read. What do you think Don't that means? Uh, one base anything. So it could be banelings, speedlings. So we speedling into something else. Yeah, it's could probably going to start expand. with speedlings. You're right. Um, we went gas first, so I would say I want to say that it's probably going to be not roach, but that's obviously not necessarily well, true. You never know. So uh, you can't exactly. make, you can't make that read. I think it's exactly. fair to say he went gas first. It's probably going to be speedlings, but to say to draw any other conclusions would be a little bit uh, bold. So as soon as your spawning pool finishes, you want to start a spine crawler and your natural. Anytime you're playing two base against one base, you have to have a spine crawler ASAP. Your queen has to start in your natural. Yeah, she's starting. And uh, and here's the thing, as as a t as a two basing zerg player, we are prepared to make as many as four spine crawlers to not die. All right. Yeah. So no matter what, if you feel like you're under the gun, just just keep making spine crawlers. Up to four. After four, then we're starting to spend a little too much money on static defense. That does not mean, okay, build a bunch of spines, but that does mean that if you have to build more, it is okay. So there's oh. your natural queen. So You're going to want a queen in your main and an overlord. I think I started the overlord, man. I think, uh, I think you just not. started the Clearly overlord. Not. <sighs> I thought I clicked it. So that one Zergling will kill 1900 drones if you let it. Oh, sick. Just box your drones and kill it. That's, that's the there you go. Put them out of work. Hero Link. Didn't really kill anything, but almost. Alright, so uh, do you have vision of his ramp? No. Why I was going to poke with some zerglings and see what's going on. Alright, you can do that or you can just put an overlord there. Do that. Okay, so now you see it. You don't need to move forward too much further because a queen will snipe that if you get too close. You just want vision. Alright, so you see roaches. So something mm -hmm. involving roaches off of one base. He could be teching, he could be making a timing. In either case, if those roaches leave, you're using you're using the threat of a speedling counter to keep him there. Why is that overlord going so far away? You have to maintain vision of that ramp. You have to see if he walks down it. There's your roach warren. I love it. Uh, notice how much gas you have. You yeah. want things like an evo chamber and a lair. Now it's okay to be building drones right now, but if you overdo it, you will lose to some sort of big one base push. So you got to be careful. Yeah. And he's on one base. Remember our logic. Okay, if he's on one base, and if I am ahead, the only way I can lose this game is if he either attacks and kills me, or if I allow him to expand. So we're going to get to where we're comfortable with our two bases, and we're just only going to make units until he expands. So we're only making units until he expands. Um, I, w I would possibly be okay with, like, like five more drones. Oh, okay, sorry, I was just taking that bit literally. That's okay. We're just, just we didn't quite drone as much as I would have liked to have seen prior. That's four more. Is that any good? That's fine. And now we're just cranking out tons of units. Your your layer is done, which means we want our roach speed. And you see how we're kind of starved on gas here again? I'm taking the next gas. Yes, I know. Why is this like? I agree. Oh come on. 
So in this situation, we're going to spend all your gas after you start roach speed, all your gas on roaches, and then everything else will go to drones. And I moved my spine. Is that, is that a better position? He's um, coming. it's okay. You just kind of notice how far it is from your ramp. He could run. He could foreseeably run up that ramp. Nice little poke with the lings. If you click on his roaches, you need to notice that he has uh, plus one attack. That's. I've got plus one coming. Well, I, as, I know. That's that's noteworthy. That, but that, sure. uh, what I'm saying is that needs to be indicative to you of what his overall overarching game plan is. If he has plus yeah. one attack, he's probably not planning to make 900 mutas. This is true. So surely there has to be a time that he's weak. Huh? There has to be a time at which his pushing is bad. I can just punish him, bro. Well, it looks like he just left again, and you're already punishing. And you can see with your overlord that it's forced him to turn right around. I would stick until that hatchery dies. I would not pull off. Good. Good. Fucking awesome. You just killed the hatch. Yep. Okay, so at some point, he's going to have to attack you. So you've denied his expansion. Um, he's, in a, he's in a really bad spot right now. You're still just going to make units. Here's something we weren't expecting. There's mutas uh. in your main. So get your natural queen up there. Transfuse your main queen. Alright, he's got plus one attack and a lot of roaches. How many mutas could he possibly have? Yeah. Can't be that many, right? So should I just go kill him or something? Yeah, you just go kill him. Just take I'll all your units and just go attack. But by yeah. doing what he has done, he has spread himself out tremendously. Alright, you, do, you don't want to allow these mutas to do too much damage here, so you might want to make a couple spore crawlers, you might want to run drones to your natural, but when you attack, I promise you, those units are going to, those mutas will come back to his base. Well, he's got a lot of roaches there. Alright, don't attack up that ramp. Oh, okay. See, there they go. There they go home to deal with your roaches. So you're going to get a couple spores up, you're going to rebuild your queens, Actually committed to this first attack, and it looks like it might work out for you. You have Ling's doing a lot of damage to his drones. All right, now get those roaches in his mineral line. You just kill as much as you can. Now, this is the, the important part here is that you have something at home for a, like a zergling counter. So just make a few roaches. But then once you feel out. that you're completely safe, once you feel that you're completely safe, you can go back to droning. So can I go for like something else now? To so like kill them, like hydras or something? You can go to hydras, you can go to infestors, there's a lot of things that you can do. Let's just talk about the state of the game right now. How do you feel? Uh, like I've done a lot of damage. The only way you can really hurt me is uh, this muta play. Yep. So there you go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to cheat a little bit and just tell you how what the situation is so that you understand it. Uh, he has 11 drones to your 23. He has four mutas. He has three roaches, and he has four zerglings. That's exactly what I felt like. <laughs> that's, that's everything he has. Um, so you should be feeling like you're in a super commanding position now. Um, and, you, and you had exactly the right instinct. He was in your base. I said, he's got a lot of roaches and plus one attack, so wh what, is, what can this possibly mean? And he said, well, he's probably not got enough units. And so you went and you attacked him, and you did tremendous amounts of damage. Which is good. And so what we see here is that this muta play, as we've discussed already, it's it's very expensive. It spreads the it spreads the zerg player out. If 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 you overreact to the muta and you build five spot spore crawlers at every base and nothing but queens and you don't make drones, you don't make units, then yeah, it's going to hurt you a lot. 
but if you don't overreact to it, you're going to be fine. Now, one thing I will say is uh, just kind of note your vision. What do you see? Our are under attack. Not much. Not much? I think not much is probably the understatement of the century. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and your vision, your, your, your vision literally does not extend beyond your creep anywhere at all whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. He's gonna drop some zergs so and towers. He could very well have every single base on the map, and you wouldn't know yeah. it. Yeah. He could have both the golds, and you wouldn't know it. He could have brood lords, and you wouldn't know it. You cannot be blind. You cannot ever play blind as a zerg player. Transfuse that queen. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful control. Love it. Alright, there's your infestors. You're not going to want any more than those five. Now you can go back to pure roach production. Yeah. Should I expand? Totally. Do you feel like you're under any threat of attack? No, no, these infestors make me feel good. Cool. Well, then go expand like a madman. How you feel about your map vision? Uh, abysmal. Well, yeah. Just, just check around the map for me. Just with one wing, find everywhere. Just check around the map. Oh, oh bomb. Are under the high are under is complete. Come on. Let's not allow that one zergling to kill your hatchery. Oh, I love it. So don't sit right under the mutas. You want to sit outside of their range. Funk with them again. There you go. Yeah, hero infested Terran. Compete and you're starting to look like you have a pretty good sized army, so you might even consider taking a poke at him. I don't know if you have enough to kill him, but you can definitely scare him. There are his roaches. Oh, yes! Take that freebie. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> it's like, lol, fungal four, and leave. <laughs> All right, no so damage. there are your reinforcements, so stay, keep the pressure on. Or back off completely. If you don't want to attack, that's fine with me. What do I know? No, no, that's fine. It's just, just macroing over that, so. Yes, boss. Now you're a little too spread out. There you go. Now you can go. Yeah, fungal? Yeah, beautiful fungal. I don't know why you like putting like half your roaches on move command, but they're literally playing Ring Around the Rosie right now. And now you should feel like there is nothing standing between his base and your army. GG. Oh. I didn't seem so hard. It didn't, did it? No, you mean no. Alright. Hang on so one second. Just, just gonna. Uh, my friend wants to watch. I just sent him the stream link. There you go. That was pretty lucky, though. He just felt like he just pushed at the wrong time. If he pushed earlier, he probably could have got me. You think so? Mm. Like as you said, that was like like pretty early. I mean, I felt I like you had enough stuff, to be honest. Okay. Cool. I, I don't, I don't like feel it. like you were at any real danger at any point in that game. I mean, any time, like any time you fast expand, you're at some risk. Yeah. Shit, what did I do? Do you mind? Do you mind if I take a leak quick? Is that okay? Yeah, by all means. Help Cheers. Please go help yourself. Back in a sec. Okay. Ah, uh, chicken pot pie and milk. <laughs>